Je vais te reprendre. Hey, how's it going? Just chilling in the van right now, cooking up some food. I've been having some problems with my um, my uh, Primus um, backpacking stove. I've been using uh, liquid fuel, and um, I'm using white gas, the Coleman white gas fuel. And um, so my stove is designed to be an international or a multi-fuel system, and so I can use like white gas. I can use like kerosene. I can use like um, unlit. I can use like actual like unleaded gasoline if I want to, and you know among other things. But I've been using the white gas, and it hasn't been that great. Like I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I mean, obviously from that one video you saw, I didn't know what I was doing at all and um, had quite the big explosion in my face and if you haven't seen that video check it out how to use your stove the wrong way and uh... but uh, I've been experimenting kind of with uh, another way to cook stuff and I got um, I've had this uh, immersion heater that I'm using now I've been using it for like just tea you know you just stick it in there and it warms it up but let me show you what I'm doing now So I'm using the immersion heater, it's just these coils, and then it just sits on the edge of a, of a cup, and uh, it plugs into the cigarette lighter right here, and um, I'm just running it off the car battery and boiling noodles. Um, I mean, they're obviously not going to get to a boil, but um, it's thin spaghetti, and so it uh, doesn't take too long to cook all the way through, and it's been probably 10 minutes right now, and um, they're getting pretty soft, like I'm pretty happy with the result, and uh, so I'm liking the way that works. And below it is one of those like tea slash coffee warmers that I picked up, um, because this immersion heater you can't use with like anything except for water, it like messes it up, like I used it the other day in a can of butternut squash, and uh, yeah, let's just say the immersion heater was like pretty messed up after that. It was just all stuck in the coils and like caked on there. And so I was like, okay, well I can't use that anymore. But I cleaned it up really good. Now I'm just going to use it for water. And so that should be fine, I'm hoping. And um, yeah, so uh, experimenting with that. And so I got the tea and coffee warmer for, you know, things other than water. Hoping that I can warm up like some chili on there or some like tortilla soup. And, you know, it probably is going to take a super long time, but... It might warm it up enough, warm it up enough that I can eat it. So we'll see. I don't really know if it'll work, but it only cost me like a dollar fifty nine at like a thrift store. I just picked it up because it just seemed like a good idea uh, to try out, you know, another option for like quick stealth camping. Because uh, when I'm like in neighborhoods or like off roads, like I feel really weird having like my backpacking stove like lit. And, like, I have to use it outside because, like, you got to light it and it's, like, flaming and stuff and all this. And so it, like, I don't know. It definitely looks like somebody's, like, lighting fires and cooking. And so I kind of wanted to be a little more stealth and be able to eat my food without making a scene. So I'm going with this and seeing how it works out. And, uh, yeah, should have some spaghetti in a little bit. Sounds great. Hey, so pasta's almost done. So I'm just going to unplug my, uh... Immersion heater now, and it looks like the noodles are pretty good. It's hard to tell, but I'm just going to prepare them right now and show you guys how I'm going to do it. So, this looks like, kind of like it's got some dark spots on it. I don't really know. Maybe it's like some pasta starch that's stuck on there. But yeah, I'll probably just have to wash that off a little bit. Hot. So I got this uh, spaghetti noodles here. Just gonna drain some of the water out. Okay, just drained almost all the water out. And uh, we're gonna leave. No, I'm gonna take it all out. Some pretty starchy water. Now I'm gonna dump in some pasta sauce real quick while it's 
smoking hot so it'll heat it up I don't know if this is gonna work good but hey why not so I got this uh, Campbell's pasta sauce it was super cheap and that's why I bought it I don't know if it's good or anything but Tastes fine. I was expecting it to be like, like Hunt's. Like I don't know if you guys have ever had the Hunt's tomato sauce, but it's pretty crummy. It's like the big old cans. It's like a 24 or like 30 ounce can for like a dollar, and it's like, whoa, that's not my favorite pasta sauce. But this Campbell's one. I think this will be my first time trying it. I got it uh, for a super deal at a grocery outlet. It was four of those jars for a dollar or like for 97 cents so they were like a quarter each why would I not choose that so yeah here's me trying spaghetti made with an immersion blend immersion heater on a cigarette lighter mmm okay so, so the sauce tastes good the noodles since they weren't cooked at like a high temperature they kind of sat in like a warm water, they got a little bit gummy. But you know what? That's part of being outdoors and camping and stuff. Is your food turns out a little weird sometimes, but it tastes super amazing right now because I haven't had a hot meal for a couple of days actually. Check that out. Regular spaghetti. In a little mug. Cool. I think next time I'm gonna chop up some like carrots and onions and put them in there too and boil them in there maybe to cook them and then mix that in with the sauce or put in some some meats. I have some salami maybe I'll throw that in there. Just make it a little bit more fancy next time but this was good because it was just my trial run. But yeah, this tastes pretty dang good. So for all you guys living in your van out there, immersion heater can do a lot more than you would think. Worth getting, you know? Definitely.